Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform. My name is Kimberly and Jotform plays such a massive role in my business that I wanted to take a little bit of time, pull back the curtain and let you see my top five forms that I use in my business every single day. So let's jump over to the dashboard. So full transparency, you will notice that none of these forms have submissions. All of these forms are cloned in this account from my personal account. So even though it looks like there's no submissions, I promise I use these forms every single day. So these are my top five forms. And I also wanted you on this account because this account is a free account and I want you guys to be able to see that you can do everything I'm about to tell you with a free account. So the first one, monthly goals. So this is a form that I share with my team at the beginning of every single month. It just allows me to, to capture where they want to be at the end of the month so that way I know how to best support them. The one thing about this form that I really love is I do something a little special. So this section right here, instead of having three short answers, I use a widget called multiple text fields. And the reason why I do this is because it counts all three of those questions as one. Now, the reason why I do that is because whenever they hit the submit button, I have a integration with this one with Trello to where when they submit their form, it automatically populates a card in my Trello board. So that way I can move people around. I can take notes. So whenever they hit that submission, this is what it'll look like. So I'll have each person has their own card. If I click on it, you can see that all three of those questions and answers populate as one in the description. So that is one that I use every single month. The next one is going to be a developmental call that I offer my team. So when someone wants to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with me, I send them this form. One, it allows me to capture some really important information about their business current state, but it also does some other things on the back end. So the first one, whenever they choose their title, keep that in mind, that's one of the important pieces. Um, and then down here, I have the schedule. So over here on add element form, the appointment. So that way, after they answer their questions, they can choose the time that best fits them for us to have that one-on-one. -on -one. It syncs with my Google Calendar, that's an integration. Um, and then right here, this grab my pre-work. So instead of them just submitting and they get the, you know, thank you for your submission, it takes them somewhere specific. I have it set up to change the thank you page based on the title or the level that they chose. So if I, you add a new condition down here, change thank you page. So these first two kind of go hand in hand. So if they choose a specific title and it's equal to, I get to choose which title. So let's say we'll choose the first one. I don't want it to go to a thank you page. I want to go to a custom URL. So that custom URL is going to be a Google Drive folder that has some pre-work for them to do, some things to look through, read through, think about, so that way we can have a more in-depth conversation when we do get to our call. Now, let's go back. The next form is gonna be a new member questionnaire. And for this one, this is the only form that I use the card format for. It's just a personal preference. Um, you can also add a welcome page. I don't, I, ha I did have it, but I took it away. I just wanted to show it really quick on that first question. So what this one is, is anytime we have a new member come into our organization, I, as their leader, I wanna know more about them and how I can support them. So I always, of course, want to know their name. I want to know how much money a month is going to make them excited about their business. This lets me know how I can best support them again and what their business needs to look like in order to meet that goal. Um, I want to know how much time a week they have to focus on their business. If they have another job, what else do they do? Um, and then the best time for us to have that conversation. And that's it for that one. Super simple, but again, I use it all the time. So let's head back to the dashboard. I actually want to talk about the landing page last. So let's jump down to the sample pack. So my business runs on referrals. So this form is something that um, my customers or my clients or my friends send to their friends in order to get them into my funnel. So I always wanna know who's sending them the form, their name, if they are going to be making a purchase and supporting the person who sent them the link. They can give me their address and I can send them something in the mail, but you can see this one is not required. So they don't have to give me their address, but I do want their phone number. And then this is one of my favorites. A lot of times we are scared to ask 
really hard questions, right? So sometimes these forms allow us to ask the questions that we might be too scared to ask in person or through messenger or text or email. So this allows them to choose the options that would best fit them. And then for this one, whenever they submit, I want them to go to my client space on Facebook. So you can see request to join the group. Whenever they press that button under the settings, under the thank you page, you can choose a URL. You can send them to a space somewhere, again, like the Google Drive, but you can send them to your space on Facebook. Or if you have a LinkedIn or anywhere else that you want to send them, you can use this feature. This is one that I'm most excited about because this one usually gets the most exposure. So I created a landing page with JotForm. So if you're not familiar what a landing page is, this is a page that you can have in Instagram or Facebook, anywhere that you're gonna house a link that houses multiple other links. So if you have maybe a video that you want people to watch or a blog post or a customer space you want them to go to, you can have this with JotForm. Now, with those other sites that offer landing pages, some of them offer an opt-in option, but you have to pay for that. But with JotForm, you can have a landing page and an opt-in form all in one. So I'm excited to share this with you. Okay, so I have my picture at the top so that way they know that they're in the right space whenever they click the link. Then this right here, these are different buttons that will take them to different spaces, right? So my website, my latest video, the customer group like I was mentioning. Um, but here's the best part. If someone wants to know about specials or special releases or anything like that, if they scroll down a little bit more, they have to enter their name, that is required, and they get to choose if they want me to text them or if they want to be on my email list. Email lists are so, so, so important. So this is a great way to get people in your funnel. And this little piece right here, depending on the phone, but most people will end up scrolling. This spot does show up on my phone, so it kind of prompts me, oh, what is down here? So people will end up scrolling down to the bottom. And again, you can send them somewhere else or you can just have that thank you page. But you guys, that is how I use JotForm. I hope this has helped. I hope this has sparked some ideas and creativity for you and how you in the future can use your JotForm. If you have any questions, just leave it down below. Bye, y'all.